Comey. Comey. It's Comey. It's Comey. Did you know that? Mm-hmm. Now I do. Hi, I'm Anna. And I'm Ben. And we are Autosave. Welcome to our channel. Today, we are watching Season 1, Episode 3 of Comey Can't Communicate. Comey. Comey. Um, <laughs> Us pronouncing it wrong was totally my fault. After, like, reading some of the manga and, like, reading the name, somehow I got it in my head to say it a certain way, and then it just stuck. Yeah, I was... And I apologize. I was stupid. Because <laughs> I then got it stuck on him, too. I know, like, Kami from Dragon Ball, and my, I just didn't click in my head. And... We're literal idiots. We Ko took Japanese we one. Ko me. It makes sense. It makes sense. We're stupid. We're Sorry. <laughs> um, but I'm excited <laughs> for episode three. Yes, uh, three. We met. We met and befriended Najimi last episode. Yes, and we did. I got defensive for Komi last episode after the coffee escapade. Yeah, I felt like that was so rude <laughs> to make her go through with that. It was awesome to watch visually. I really enjoyed the fan subs and we're watching them again. And I am just kind of ready to see where this story goes, but also just enjoy the ride. You know, I really like these episodes. They fill my heart with warmth. <laughs> Um, so as I've said before, this is totally a show that I would be binge watching mm. if I could. Um, but I'm glad that I can't because it's fun to have him watch it with me. Uh, and it just is it's so heartwarming and so sweet. And I just want to see her make all hundred friends. And I want to see how, how weird the other classmates are. <laughs> Well, I am ready. Do you think we're gonna we're gonna meet another friend this episode, right? We are. To I'm. I mean, if it was true to that, like, oh, we meet a friend an episode, then there would be a hundred episodes. Uh, and there's not. True. So I'm thinking that. I don't know. Do you have like a guess? Is it gonna be someone we've seen before that might I, become her next friend? I feel like the one girl who is basically on the most like the defensive uh, like the defensive club of Comey is gonna be last i i think we agree on that that she in my mind at the moment she seems to be the one who might be at the center mm -hmm. of the treatment of comey and how everyone kind of like just puts her on a pedestal and stays away yeah so i i don't know they haven't really shown us or showcased anyone else to like a big degree other than the girl that was the lead girl of the of the like stylish girls fashion girls something like that um there was a girl in like a suit of armor next to her maybe that's the next friend maybe ninja the ninja i forgot about the ninja i hope the ninja is the next friend <laughs> all right you ready to get into yes. it sweet okay i'm keeping my eyes peeled for good friends to be shown on like the side of the screen agari himiko she's very nervous she's the next friend has to be, right? Has to be. <laughs> so a nervous person meets a person who can't communicate. Or I love socialize. how this is the every intro. How it Come you show. I don't know how to pronounce it. I apologize. So, so like, oh, sorry, Co go ahead. Comey sought this friend out. She is seeking friends out. But like last episode, it was hard enough to become friends with someone who's good at making friends. Now we have a person who is a nervous person that is now gonna. Maybe that's have a the reason she wants to become friends with her because of like the nervous energy. Maybe she's like less scared of her, like Himiko less intimidating. Agari, Agari, Himiko. Like Tadano definitely is like one of the least intimidating people that we've met so far. So it makes sense that um their friendship happened yeah. so easily. Komi doesn't have multicolored hair or like any of these anime tropes of like a main character i guess or one of the main characters but she looks so unique in her yes. own way and in i her universe love she looks very unique i mean like tadano has a flower on his head that's pretty um stand out but because she wants to be friends. 
do you think Comey's gonna go to Todd? No, and, and be, be like, like, help. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like tug his shirt yeah. a little bit. <laughs> Is that a big ask for her? I mean, she's nervous, right? And one of those people are probably Comey. <laughs> Comey. <laughs> which which is scarier? <laughs> hey, she managed to say it. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's actually a great plan. Like to pick out people that she thinks would. Agar okay, Himiko's the first one. Yeah. It's helpful. An <laughs> no, Komi wants this one. She's already decided. Yep. No. Oh, you're both so nervous. <gasps> this is so big for her, I feel like. How does she feel? <laughs> oh. Look how cute she is. Oh. <laughs> Don't undervalue yourself, Agari. It's a friend, even if she wants to be her dog, right? <laughs> that counts. A cell phone. She can text people. <laughs> I finally bought a Oh, she's getting used to texting. Oh. Keep up with her friends. She has friends. Lots of. Yes! <laughs> yes! Maybe she wants yours. Oh. <laughs> yes. She's being very clear. And the numbers. Numbers, paper, phone. Yes. 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 Charades. This is massive. <laughs> Tadano's face. Yes. Is she embarrassed now? That's so sweet. Oh, they're like both so like embarrassed about it. This is so, so cute. Digital <laughs> <Your> contact. <laughs> Election. Mm. Are they gonna elect Ko uh, Komi? I can't tell if being the class president would be good or bad beneficial for her. for her making friends. Well, that depends. Um, if she uses it to her, you know, new mission, she might be able to get more friends. Oh, oh no, they're all misunderstanding. Come on, <gasps> Najimi. Oh, I love it. You are amazing. Class princess or something. What? <laughs> the goddess of the class. Yes, she is the goddess. <laughs> well, that is 
So much for not making any ripples or being <laughs> any, in waves. Po- any waves in high school. Accidental call. She doesn't know how to use her cell phone. Is she going to butt dial somebody? I could totally see her butt dialing someone. Oh, she's so cute. And she likes cats. <laughs> oh my gosh. Someone text her, please. She's like, oh, we got a new phone. <gasps> no. Oh no, she's picking a ringtone. <laughs> He's calling back. Oh, this is big. Oh, you understand her so well. Komi-san? <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> I'm so proud. <gasps> You're too loud. Do we get to meet her family, like her brother? I kind of want to meet her brother. Does he go to the same school? Oh my gosh! You're... <gasps> Najime, Najimi has like the mentality of throwing a kid into the deep end to really? let the, to learn really? teach them how to swim. Shh, that parent that throws the kid in the pool, you're so right. <laughs> this is a lot of pressure. But she was invited. It's like the the nice master versus the brutal ruthless master. <laughs> yeah, no, I didn't get any of that. <laughs> okay. You can do it. <gasps> Punishment? <laughs> oh! <laughs> Wait, did- Was Tadano in that group that wanted the kissy face or was I mistaken? Oh my gosh. Is Todd no gonna say it? Come on. He's trying to help you. She really you. didn't understand. Oh. Oh my gosh. You're all. Oh, Todd no. Self sacrifice to protect her. It's worth it. It's worth it. The hole's repaired. Easily. Ugh. I love this show, man. Alright. That was Season 1, Episode 3 of Comey Can't Communicate. Yes, it was. Dots? <sighs> Tadano really is, like, putting his all into this mission. Oh, yeah. He is fully willing to... Not only is he able to understand her and basically read her thoughts and actually understand what her body language means, unlike everyone else who is just misunderstanding and or ignoring the fact of like what she's trying to say or how she's feeling, he is not only like so brilliantly understanding her and supporting her, he's also putting his reputation even more on the line and kind of ruining his chance that, like, this isn't like Tadano makes a hundred friends. Like, he yeah. is definitely putting that at risk, him making friends, just to possibly make her friends. And I feel like in the end, I could totally see him being like, okay, I helped her make the hundred friends. Like, I'm going to leave her be now because she'll be happy, you know? I could see him being like that, and I hope that he gets some friends too, and that they start loving him. 
with understanding her. I hope that happens. And then once he's like, oh, I got to get some friends too. Everybody's like, shut up. We're you already your have friends. friends. Yeah. Oh, I hope that happens. Um, I like he's willing. His happiness is Comey's happiness. You know, mm -hmm. she obviously like cares so much. Like she's always checking on him and like how he's feeling as he is her. Like it's a very back and forth friendship. Oh, yeah. So Comey got a phone. Yeah, and Comey she did. can talk more on a phone. On the phone. That's insane. And then I like how her brother comes in and is like, you're being loud. <laughs> yeah, like that was the I mean, that's some humor right there. I mean, but it also begs the question, what is she like with her family? Yeah. Very Or do her social skills and lack thereof extend into like her family unit? Can she not communicate with them? Is her whole family kind of weird when it comes to talking about things? And the brother's just like a normal one or something? Who knows? I mm. don't know. I, I, I hope we meet her family. Yeah. I mean, she made a point to be like, I have six numbers in my phone, my family. And yeah. yeah. So maybe the family is going to have more of a role because maybe the family is a link to why she doesn't have the skills to communicate. Something might have happened in her past. Yeah. But it seems like maybe it happened at school, but maybe it didn't. Maybe it was like a trauma in her past, in her family. I like her new friend, Agari Himiko. Yes. She needs some self-esteem. Yes, she does. Like, Komi isn't going to like it if Agari is com always putting herself down and degrading herself in order to make Komi happy. Like, that is not going to make her happy. And I feel like they're definitely going to need to have a conversation about that. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like if uh, Komi worked up the courage to be like, don't be so hard on yourself, yeah. then she would be like, oh my god, I'm just a dog. <laughs> like, I don't deserve this. I don't this. deserve I'm you talking worthy. to me. Yeah. I, I like her, though. I think she's really sweet and cute, and I like her character design a lot. And once they got over the fact that she was nervous, she mm -hmm. was very easy to make a friend yeah. of. Once once she got over her, like, she... Honestly, it probably would have been easier if Komi wasn't, like, freaking scaring her and stalking her. She <laughs> probably would have been more receptive at first. I mean, it was in her vision, yeah. Komi was scary. Well, yeah, I definitely yeah. don't mean that she literally actually was, was <laughs> being scary. Or it was more just, like... She obviously feels like she doesn't deserve the attention. So if anyone was staring at her, she is going to feel like it's for a bad reason. Yeah. I feel... Uh, so I don't think Komi, even at the end, knew the sacrifice Tadano made there. That, like, the loser had to do a kissy face. I don't think she knew that. I mean, if she knew what the rules were, she would have realized. But they made a point on screen to be like, doesn't know what the rules yeah. are. <laughs> Darn it. I feel that, like, the rules are explained and then you don't want to be the person who's like, can you re repeat I the mean, entire thing? I mean, that made it even funnier that they literally didn't give us a chance to understand the rules yeah. before the game. Yeah. Like, they were like, no, Made us feel blah, blah, exactly blah. Like, like that. So we knew how Komi felt because <laughs> we had no clue what the rules were either. I like Najimi a lot. I think she's cool. Definitely different tactics. It's so funny to see, like, Obviously, Tadano does have a friend other than Komi because it seems like Najimi sees Tadano as a friend. Yeah. Even even though, like, the childhood friend status, but, like, a current friend. Um, and it definitely seems like one of them's, like, super sweet and supportive and, like, a gentle parent. Yeah. And the other one's, like, throw your kid in the pool parent. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Which one do you want? I mean, they both can be helpful in different situations. I mean, Komi had a blast playing, right? Yeah. She loved it. I, it's, she like, loved being included. She was loving the idea that Tadano offered up for the after class thing, but she ended up having a lot of fun after being thrown into the mix, you know? Yeah. All Those right. friends are going to be difficult. That popular oh, yeah. group. They just give me, like, I don't like any of them at the moment because they all just seem like, because of their inner dialogue and their how they are treating Tadano, I don't like them. And I'm like, they don't deserve being friends with Komi anyway, because they're meanies. It, it's like, I don't, they all see people at face value and don't think about what is going on underneath. Why is Tadano doing the things that he's doing? Why is Komi they just not talking? In the way. Why is, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, but I don't know. I, I'm hopeful, at least to the ninja that he'll come around 
it makes you wonder if any of them actually are real friends to each other or if they're all having these internal struggles of having to not fully be themselves Maybe. or always kind of self-conscious that they might get like kicked out of the group it's a good question i yeah. think that could totally be it but uh that's all i have you that is i okay my guess for the next friend okay in this in the intro and then in the corner of this episode i'm gonna go with someone who wasn't a focal point in that friend group that mm -hmm. popular friend group pink hair there was a girl with pink hair and kind of like low ponytails and kind of like a haircut like around her face like that yeah and she's in the intro and i saw her in the corner of a scene or two in this like very like a blurry corner like yeah. definitely not a showcase focus at all and i'm picking that person okay. as the next the next friend well let's see if that's right it's a prediction it's probably not right <laughs> <laughs> well thank you guys so much for watching this video please like comment and subscribe and we hope to see you next time